It's Friday and we are gonna get some stuff done. Technically, it's already been a very productive Friday. I got a lot of writing done on the Strong 30. That is very close to coming out and being published, e made into an ebook, something like that. Whatever that is, whatever God has planned for that. Um, this is the next thing on the to-do list. Well, this is my screen printer. This is where t-shirts are made. This is where t-shirts go from there and then get they get they they turn into that they turn that's that's what let's go back so first off this is what I ordered this is everything that came in this box I put it together well I haven't finished putting it together but I have a few more things before I want to put all of it together. It's on the ground. There's no legs. There's no legs that came with this. So the top part spins, but this bottom part does, doesn't spin. Doesn't spin like I need it to. I'm gonna build the legs so that that bottom part can spin that way. I'm stationary standing in one place and I can spin it like the other one that I used that I don't own back in one other vlog. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you there it is. My plans. Those are the plans. That's that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna build. So, let's get after it. Let's go to Lowe's. Sometimes I just wish I could be a normal person. So I just made this thing. It's got a little, um, it's called, it's called a Lazy Susan to rotate, so this is gonna be the base. This is where we're gonna put this thing. This is gonna look like that. And then we're placing that on top of this, and this on top of those, and then we should be good. And then we should be set up. I'll be honest, I'm not super confident in this. Like, this is pretty hard pretty heavy so we'll see so I definitely pulled a classical me move and completely forgot about screws and dr and bolts right here here these um, yeah so I definitely have to go run and grab some of those so today's vlog ended up as a DIY video on how to make a screen printing, shirt printing thingy in your apartment. Let's get into it. So of course this is half homemade, half actually ordered. So I ordered this top part. I'm not, I'm not good enough to do all of this. But I did put it together, I guess, so that was cool. But um, this and this is what I ordered. And then this whole bottom part is something that I just kind of, I wanted to find, I wanted to find a YouTube video on how to do the bottom part of this and I could not find anything. So I guess hopefully if you're here looking for something like this, this helps you. Okay, so let's see if I can actually explain what I did. Um, so these are just normal saw horses. I was trying to figure out what the best way to do legs was. I was trying to figure out what the best way to set up legs for this thing was, and I just saw these saw horses at Lowe's, and I was like, 
that's cheap. Number one, that's probably gonna be cheaper than what I was planning. And number two, I mean, those are pretty sturdy and very easy, and it will be very easy to take it apart if I, if and when I move out of this apartment or sell this thing, it'll be very easy to move these things. So I have saw horses for the legs. And then I bought about a, I was about a three foot, three foot by one foot piece of wood, uh, one and a half, three foot by one and a half uh, piece of wood just as the base layer. So this is what this is, the base right here. And on top of the base, in between, in the middle, you can't see it that well, but in the middle there, I put a Lazy Susan um, 360, I mean, basically what it is, is a 360 bearing, so it just, it can hold like 500 pounds, so I'm thinking that I shouldn't be able to break that, but we'll see. Why I did this was because this is, this is the kind of printer that I've been using, and I've been using my brother's friend's screen printer that he spent thousands of dollars on and I was just blessed enough to be able to use it for a little bit um, and he didn't charge me or anything but since then that thing was moved and it's in the guy's basement and I was like I don't really want to have to like bother his whole family every time I go and print so I was like I'll just build my own and what and how they sell these these things are like two so these things are like not even close to a thousand dollars and but they're made to be stationary I wanted to make the base able to rotate and so then I didn't have to walk around this thing and have to move the heater every single time I wanted a t-shirt to be dry so this is what happened this is this is it this is where it's at this is what I did yeah, so now I can print t-shirts in my apartment, so that's cool. If this is your first time on this channel, my name is Patches. Usually what I do is talk about God and talk a lot about porn and talk a lot about learning and getting better as a human. So this DIY is not usually what I do, but but I'm also trying to start a media company and, and kind of a t-shirt printing company also thingy so some DIYs is just how it goes. One thing I'm actually pretty disappointed in myself was for was last night I was walking through the grocery store I needed to get eggs and I think that was it like eight no eggs and a razor. This wasn't last night was it last night? Two nights ago. I don't know. Now what is today? Thursday. Night before. It was Wednesday night and so I'm just walking through the grocery store and then I find myself in the cereal aisle and I was walking and I was like, oh, cereal. And it's just like a rose of cereal and I was like, I have to have some, I have, I don't have to have cereal. Oh, uh, I'm trying to be healthy and this is what I got. The, the cookie bites. This just comes down to you don't get tempted if it's not around. I don't get tempted to eat cereal if I don't have cereal. Guess what I had for lunch? Cereal. That's a terrible lunch and I'm mad for even having this, but I'm not gonna throw it away because it's delicious, so I'm gonna finish it. But it just goes along with anything else in life. You don't get tempted to watch porn if there's no way you can watch porn. If you're room if your phone is in another room your laptops in another room that you can't get to boom you might as well forget it because you can't do it so just something to think about peace out have a good night